Good evening, everyone. This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call the regular meeting of Mayor and Council of the Borough of Glassboro for April 28, 2020 to order. Karen, could you please read the opening statement? Yes, Mayor. Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, I hereby announce that adequate notice of this meeting as required by said act has been provided by adopting a schedule of regular meetings for the year 2020 which schedule was posted on the Borough Hall Bulletin Board, as well as the Borough website, and forwarded to both the South Jersey Times and the Sentinel of Gloucester County, and filed with the Borough Clerk on January 4th, 2020. Thank you. Can we all rise and salute the flag, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Thank you very much. Uh, Karen, roll call, please. Mayor Wallace. Here. Mr. Casabone. Present. Mr. D'Alessandro. Here. Mr. Fiola. Here. Ms. Miller. Here. Mrs. Spence. Here. Mr. Melandro. Here. Mr. Scafidi. Here. Mr. Brunimer. Here. And let the record reflect that Mr. Halter is excused for this evening. Thank you, Karen. Uh, at this time, I'd like to turn the meeting over to our borough solicitor. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Uh, on our agenda tonight, we do have the uh, scheduled uh, public hearing of the 2020 municipal budget if the council so moves for opening of the meeting to the public on the budget. Yes, uh, Mayor, if I may, um, I will make that motion. However, first, uh, I'd like to make an announcement on the budget. And that is that this year there will be a zero increase in taxes for this coming year. Uh, the tax rate in Glassboro has actually gone down slightly. Uh, however, with the recent uh, countywide property assessments, many property values have increased in assessed value. And those increased values would necessarily result in increased taxes because uh, if if your uh, house is assessed at a higher value, uh, even at the same rate, your taxes would increase. However, the cut in our tax rate makes up for the increase, for the slight increase in um, increase in taxes that would have occurred as, as a result of the increased assessed values. Therefore, there will be no increase in taxes uh, for the uh, this coming fiscal year even though the values of most of our properties have generally increased. Uh, I'd like to quickly thank uh, uh, Ed Melandro, our administrator, our CFO, Catherine Passion, all of the department heads who helped put this budget together uh, for, of course, their hard work uh, in, in helping to keep these taxes stable. And with that statement, I would uh, move that the public hearing be open. Second. Okay, I have a, but thank you for that explanation, Councilman Fiola, and uh, your motion, and where is a second by Councilwoman Spence. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Uh, the floor is now open for anyone from the public who wishes to speak on the, uh, um, the, on the budget. Seeing none, I move the public portion be closed and the ordinance adopted as written. Second. Okay, I have a motion on the floor by uh, Council President Casabone, seconded by Councilwoman Spence. All those in favor, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Karen, roll call, please. Uh, Mayor uh, Tim Scafidi, just for the record, I believe Mr. Casabone said ordinance, but it actually is resolution art 10220. Resolution for the approval of the 2020 municipal budget in the borough of Glassboro. First reading. That would be the action that would be taken on this vote. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, will that motion be amended, uh, Karen, for the minute? Mm -hmm. With the clarification? Yes, yes, it will, Mayor. Uh, very good. Okay, I will now call for the roll, please. Aaron? Mr. Casabone? Yes. Mr. D'Alessandro? Four. Mr. Fiola? Four. Ms. Miller? Four. Mrs. Spence? Four. And motion carries. Uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meetings of March 10th, 2020 and March 24th, 2020. So moved. Um, I have a motion by Councilwoman Spence. Do I have a second? Second. A second by Councilman uh, Fiola. All those in favor, state aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Yeah, Mayor, let the record re reflect that I abstain on the minutes of March 29th, 2020. Thank you very much. That abstention is noted. Uh, motion still carries. Um, Karen, we have no communications. Uh, committee reports. Uh, Councilman D'Alessandro. Uh, I have nothing, Mayor. Thank you very much. Uh, Councilwoman Spence. Just that we are, we have postponed all um, uh, activities at the train station and the historical society, and we're hoping that we can get open again soon, at least trying to do a lot of things virtually, but that's about it. Thank you very much. Uh, Councilman Fiola. Thank you, Mayor. Other than my statements regarding the budget, the budget I have nothing. Thank you very much. Uh, Councilwoman Miller. I uh, have nothing at this time, Mayor. Uh, thank you very much. And Council President Constable. Uh, yes, Mayor, thank you. Uh, i just like to, to again reiterate and thank uh, you, Ed Melandro, Jack Manning, and, and all the uh, uh, police department, fire department, EMS, for job well done and what you've done for the borough, keeping the borough safe. And again, I want to thank uh, Karen and all the department heads and Ed Melandro for the budget. Uh, appreciate what you did for a 0% tax increase for this year. And everybody, please stay safe. That's all. Thank you very much, sir. Um, we have no unfinished business. Um, Karen, do we have any new business? Yes, Mayor. I do have one item under new business. It's something that came up last minute. I received notification um, yesterday from New Jersey Alcohol Alcoholic Beverage Control. It was a ruling regarding Chickies and Pete's Sports Bar. Uh, they have a five-day concessionaire's permit suspension. Um, if you would like a motion to accept and, um, and acknowledge. Okay, I'll accept a motion to accept and acknowledge the uh, motion as stated by uh, our uh, clerk. So moved. I'll make that motion. Uh, I heard uh, Councilwoman Miller make the motion. Councilman D'Alessandro, you will second that? Yes. Very good. Councilman D'Alessandro will second. Uh, all those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Thank you very much. And at this time, I'll again turn the meeting over to our borough solicitor. Thank you, Mayor. Under our uh, consent agenda this evening, we have the following uh, resolutions. First would be Resolution 122, authorizing contract for the purchase of one 2020 Ford F450 four-wheel regular cab to the state of New Jersey, contract A88214, for the borough of Glassboro in the amount of $59,896.50. Resolution 123, authorizing agreement for professional services with the borough, with the borough of Glassboro and Sickles and Associates for the Fern Road 2.0 million gallon tank repairs and painting in the amount of $255,800. Resolution 124, Resolution authorizing agreement for certain professional services 
adopted by the borough of Glassboro, Sickles and Associates, Jacob Harris Lane, in the amount of $38,685, Resolution 125, granting approval for Form B-1 for Rowan University Student Housing, Carpenter Street Project, Resolution 126, Resolution Authorizing Agreement, Professional Services, the Borough of Glassboro and Shropshire Associates, LLC, Traffic Engineering and Transportation, Transportation Planning Services, in the amount of $5,300. Resolution 127, Agreement for Professional Services with the Borough of Glassboro and Pannoni Associates for Professional Planner Services in the estimated fee of $10,000. And we also have an add-on resolution this evening. That would be Resolution 128.20, a resolution extending the grace period to pay second quarter real status, real estate taxes due on May 1st, 2020 to June 1st, 2020. They would be the resolutions this evening with the add-on of 128, numbers 120 through two through 128. If council so moves for the reasons stated on the record. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Councilman Fiola, seconded by Councilwoman Spence. Uh, Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Possebone? Yes. Mr. Delisandro? Four. Mr. Fiola? Four. Ms. Miller? Four. Mrs. Spence? Four. That motion carries. There we also have tonight on first reading by title only, ordinance number 20-13. That is an ordinance of the mayor and council for the borough of Glassboro, vacating Roosevelt Lane, situated between block 151, lot one, and block 152, lot one, in the borough of Glassboro, County Gloucester, state of New Jersey, which is uh, a lane between the former Ellis Mill housing project. Again, this is on first reading by title, only if council so moves for introduction. I'll make that motion. Second. second. Okay, I have a motion by Council President Casabone and a second by Councilman Fiola. Uh, Karen, roll call, please. Mr. Casabone. Yes. Mr. Delisandro. Four. Mr. Fiola. Four. Ms. Miller. Four. Mrs. Spence. Four. That motion carries. Uh, Bro, Administrator Ed, do you have any comments at this time? Um, just two quick things, Mayor. <clears throat> it's unfortunate with the, with this timing, but Renee Harrell, who works in our highway department, will be retiring Thursday after 45 years of service. Her first day was February 3rd, 1975. So I just wanted to acknowledge that and thank her for all of her time and dedication to the borough. And, and second, you. And our solicitor mentioned this. We, based on based on the governor's executive order, we are extending our tax date to June 1st without penalty. And that just happened today. And it was good that we could get it on the agenda for tonight and get that into an effect right away. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I will hold my comments to the end. And at this time, I will entertain a motion to open the public portion. I'll make that motion. Second. I have a motion by Council Second. President Casabone, seconded by Councilwoman Spence. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Extensions. That motion carries. Uh, I need to read uh, a brief statement uh, before we formally open the public portion. Uh, we will now move to the open, the open this meeting for public comment. Please be advised that immediately following the motion, all lines will be administratively unmuted and a member of our staff will have, who has joined this meeting via the public access telephone number will provide audible confirmation that the public lines are open. If you wish to provide comment, please render your intent by stating your name and place of residence. 
and then confirm that mayor and council are able to hear you clearly before proceeding. If you are unable to be heard, please ensure that your phone is not physically muted. Or please, I'm sorry, please ensure that your phone is not physically muted. You may also control whether your phone is muted or unmuted by the teleconference system by dialing star six on your telephone keypad. Again, that's star six to mute or unmute your line via the teleconference system. At this time, our meeting organizer has unmuted all lines within the teleconferencing system. I will now ask our staff member who has called in via public access telephone number to please confirm you are able to hear us and that we are able to hear you. Hello, Mayor Wallace. This is John Gorski. I'm able to hear you clearly. Are you able to hear me? Yes, we are able to hear you. Thank you, John. Yes, Having uh, Nick Mitchell, 9 old. Finch L Drive. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Nick. Thank you. Do you wish to speak, Nick? Yes, I, 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 just a couple of things. First of all, I'd like to, to uh, mention that we we do appreciate the great services that the borough offers uh, during this time of difficulty. Um, talking about the maintenance men and the guys that pick up our trash and, and weeds and so forth, really appreciate that. If there's any way you can get a thank you to those guys, please do that. If there's anything that we can do uh, to show our appreciation, I certainly would like to know. Uh, but thank you for a job well done. Uh, secondly, um, I'd like to thank the, the, the Barrow Council and Mayor and Council for uh, authorizing the resolution for the for, to uh, authorize the application to the State Library for funding under the Library Construction Bond Act and the dedication of land for use as a public library. You probably know that um, we we have a small committee that is a part of the Greater Glassboro Group that has been working almost four years on trying to take the, this project, this library project, and move it from the back burner to the front burner. And, and we appreciate, we want you to know we really appreciate, we know that that you know we, we need a new library in Glassboro to be consistent with the revitalization uh, of Glassboro. A new library would be fantastic and is ver is needed. And then it's probably going to be on the back burner as a result of the situation we're into now. There are more important things to do than a library, but I just wanted to, on behalf of the committee, thank you for um, approving the submission and authorizing the application to the State Library. Toward that end, uh, we, we, want, we want you to know that we have on our committee three registered uh, librarians. Um, Loretta, who is our, our um, Latowski, who is our, um, probably mis mispronounced that, that, her name. Sorry, Loretta. Um, Loretta, um, who is the library director in Glassboro? Does a great job. Um, Nancy Polhamus, who is also a, a librarian, she's also a, a, a she's also a librarian, and also Karen Frank, who is a Glassboro Public Schools librarian for many years and she's now retired. Um, we want to offer those guys to the, whoever the uh, consultant is. I'm sure that they, if they need any information, we have a plethora of information regarding libraries and contemporary libraries and state of the art, what, what a contemporary library should be like. Glassboro, we hope that the library be, is a library plus a community center as well. Um, Thank you again for um, authorizing the application and I hope and, and applying for that money that's available. Uh, 
who knows, we may get lucky and get, get that $2.5 million and hopefully the council will figure out a way to match that. Um, it is a very important to the development and revitalization of Glassboro. Uh, thank you for the time, the extra time. I probably went over my five minutes. Thank you again, and thanks for the job that you guys do. I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much, Nick, and uh, we will ensure that the public works departments will uh, hear your well wishes. We really appreciate that. I'm sure they will as well. Uh, is there anyone else that wishes from the public that wishes to address mayor and council? Well, hearing none, I move that the uh, public portion be closed. Second. I have a motion by President Casabone, seconded by Councilman D'Alessandro. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Extensions? <laughs> motion carried. The uh, public portion is now closed. Uh, at this time, I will entertain a motion to approve all duly authorized bills. Mayor, I'll move that all duly authorized bills be paid. I'll duly second it. <laughs> Very nice. We have, we have a motion by Councilman Viola, seconded by Council President Casabone. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That motion carries. Uh, at this time, I would uh, like to just thank the public, the staff, um, and all of you for all of your diligence with complying with all of these uh, numerous executive orders coming down from our governor, uh, maintaining uh, social distancing, um, as well as mask wearing. It truly is making a difference when you look at the numbers across the county and across the state, uh, how well we are doing in Glassboro. And in light of all that, and still continuing to maintain uh, all services throughout this whole thing, is something to be commended. So from our borough administrator all the way down, I'd like to thank you all very, very much. And with that, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. I'll make that motion gladly. <laughs> Second. I have a motion by a glad motion by Council President Casabone. I have a second by Councilwoman Spence. All those in favor, state aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? And motion carries. This meeting is now adjourned. Again, thank you all very much. Have a great evening. Please be safe. Our next regular meeting is scheduled for May 12th, 2020 at 8, at 8, tentatively at 8 p.m. Thank you all. Please be safe. Good night. All right. Thank you. You, you too, guys. Bye. Be safe. Bye. Thank you.